Every day, thousands of planes take to the skies. Now, for most people, plane is plane, right? There are big planes, small planes, colorful planes. Well, you get the point. But what you may see as just a colorful paint job is actually a very important part of an airline's visual identity. That paint job is called a livery, and airlines use it to differentiate themselves from their competition. Planes are like flying billboards in a way, and liveries carry the company's message all over the world. To create these designs, airlines use a combination of both paint and decals. Now, painting is a labor-intensive process that usually requires airline companies to send their aircraft to specialized paint shops. But local carrier Caribbean Airlines is, well, keeping things local. Meet 9Y Tango Tango Echo, one of the first ATRs to be completely painted in-house by the Cal Maintenance and Engineering team. So if you look at this uh, color here, this is called a swoosh by Caribbean Airlines. These multiple lines coming across here have all been painted by hand by 10 painters here in this hangar. So this piece here, which is, says Caribbean identity and there's some flags, that's actually one of the few things that it's on this plane that's actually made of a decal, which is a sticker. The rest of it, including this really complicated bird up there, is all painted by hand right here. And when I say it's complicated, I am not exaggerating. Both the hummingbird and the swoosh designs are made up of seven colors, not including the white paint. Several of those colors are close to each other and many of the lines intersect. Mark Anthony Richards, manager of Cal's ATR fleet says, the 21 day job is not super difficult, but what it does require is a lot of preparation. First, the entire aircraft is washed, sanded down and primed then it gets a coat of white paint and stencils are laid down based on engineering drawings. Both a curing solution and an activator is added to the base coat and then it's time to paint. Every layer of paint adds additional weight to the aircraft which in turn increases fuel consumption and by extension fuel bills. So great care is taken to have as few layers as possible. And if at any point in time a painter has doubts, these large-scale prints help them clarify design requirements. Now for the curious, it takes 45 gallons of paint and primer to complete the aircraft. That's the equivalent to painting about 22 Hiluxes. Or is it Hilux? Hmm. Anyway, last but not least, a clear coat is added to protect the paint job from the sun's UV rays. For Cal, painting their own aircraft means they save both time and money. And that's because every second that a plane spends on the ground means it's not in the air generating revenue. So, the next time you fly, take a moment to appreciate these men's hard work. Just don't keep back the boarding process, please. Brent Pinero, CNC3 News, Piaco.